Hello everyone, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and today we're going to be talking about how to make these pieces of the piano fly out in a very simple setup. So first things first, we've brought in the piano, then I've got a transform and the transform I've moved the center to the origin and scaled it down. Okay, so we're gonna select the pieces, the tiny pieces of the piano, and the idea will be to group them. All right. So if you come here and you select 3D connected geometry, you can pick and select each of the individual pieces. So say I were to select them like this, deselect everything but the pieces, and then you hit tab and group, and make sure you select this. Look on on your um, viewport so that immediately creates a group right right there so i've already selected the pieces of the piano that i wanted to control right here so these are the pieces um tells me which pieces are in the group and i've named the group piano part a grp which stands for group next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place the deletes up and I am going to delete the group that I've selected and tell it to delete non-selected. And then on this delete sub right here, I've selected that but deleted the selected. So it keeps everything else but these pieces. Okay. Um, hide everything. Just... Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm gonna use a delete uh, so that I can delete all of the other pieces of the piano that I don't need. I'm gonna keep this piece here as our collider and use a clip to clip everything but the the parts that I want the piece the little piano pieces to collide with. So I'm gonna I placed a null here and named it my out collider. That's gonna be the collision part of the geometry following that i'm placing an assemble sub and creating packed geometry let me just get rid of this and the last thing i'm gonna do and i'll do it from scratch so you can see how it's set up i'm using a dot network placing the dot network coming to the dot network and we're going to select packed geometry on our packed geometry we want to select the first context geometry and that's going to bring in the piano pieces which are already packed and ready to simulate now we want to double check what kind of collisions we've got right here so it looks like the collision as convex hole is working nice um, but turn off the, the select geometry even though it's much slower I'm gonna select concave because that's going to make it much more accurate um, turn off the show geometry and select display geometry because if you keep the show guide geometry on it's gonna make your simulation much slower um, now I'm gonna select the rigid body solver the pack geometry is going to come into where the objects are input and then connect this to right here and then what we're going to do is um, bring in our static object so our static object um, we're going to reference the sub path at our out collider and if we see that's our the the pieces that we're going to collide with and if we make the, the, this invisible and show the collision geometry, we see that there is not enough information for the collision to actually do something. So I'm gonna, as, as a volume, of course. So I'm gonna select surface. Surface would potentially work, but in this case, I think bullet as a concave is gonna do the trick. So this is why sometimes it's smarter or more it's much faster if you're working on a slow setup or something to create just a bunch of boxes to represent 
what you want the geometry to collide with and coming here and selecting box that's gonna make the simulation much much faster um, we're gonna go ahead and merge this so merge this piece right here and we're gonna swap this so that the left input affects right this geometry here is affecting whatever's happening with ours so coming here and hit play nothing's gonna happen because there's no forces or there's nothing really affecting our scene so what i want to do is come in here and set pop force the pop force i'm gonna give it a tiny bit of amplitude and this is what's gonna make our pieces just fly out This input right here takes any sort of force that you add to it. So right now I'm using amplitude with a little bit of swirl. If we add a pop drag with a little bit of air resistance, that's gonna make it just look a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer. We can see that our our collision source is working properly. See how how the pieces actually hit the hit the wall and bounce back. And when the pieces collide with each other, they they bounce. Now we've got this little error right here. For little things like that, that's usually because the geometry is hitting it. If we pull the geometry just a tiny bit up, you're not gonna get any of those issues. As you can see, it looks it looks really cool. Um, and then last thing we're gonna do is after the simulation takes place, we only want to bring in our our piano pieces so if we come in here and we select the name of the geometry come out here we select the object that we want to bring in now that's only going to bring in our pieces and we are going to finalize this by merging the pieces to the To the piano and lastly um, we want to do a time shift right here um, basically reverse time so if we've got a hundred frames right click delete channel select frame one 100 is gonna be our first frame and then zero is gonna be frame 100 Come here and select the animation editor hit H and I'm gonna make this linear So that means that It plays in reverse come here Visualize it set up set a cool camera and hit play and you'll immediately see the pieces coming into place If you guys would like to see um, procedural ways in which we can have the pieces animate from one side to the next or only affect, have the forces affect the specific parts of the pieces, please leave a comment or let me know and we'll post uh, another tutorial just breaking it down. Thank you very much again for watching and it's been another awesome RMA Fire tutorial.